Hello and welcome to another video on Python Essentials. Today we are going to be taking a look at how to obtain the highest common factor between two numbers. And we will have a user defined function for this purpose. We say def of hcf being the function name. And the two numbers can be our two arguments. So what we could do is create a factor list for the smallest of number one and number two. Let's define min num is equal to minimum of number one and number two. This gives us the lower value of the two numbers. And using a for loop, we give a range of one, two, we want to start at one and we want to go up to the minimum number itself. So we want to give one value higher. Min number plus one. For this range, we are going to check if min num is perfectly divisible by i, which is to say the modulo will give us zero. If this condition is true, right, we need a colon over here. If that is true, we would need a factors list to which we will simply append i. Let's create that list right over here, an empty list. So this is basically going to generate our list of factors for the smaller of these two numbers. And uh, now with this factor list itself, we can just run it. Let's say for J in factors, it's going to take this iterator and point it to each and every element in the factors list. If J divides the other of these two numbers, right? Now we have min num is equal to minimum of number one and number two. That is also say max and now talk about the other number. So for J in factors, if max number is divisible, perfectly divisible by J, we can simply say HCF is equal to J. So what it's going to do is it's going to start with the lowest common factor. Give it to this number. It will go back to the loop over here and keep climbing basically the list, the factor list until it reaches the highest number, which meets this condition. And HCF is going to be replaced each, each time you have a new common factor leading up to finally giving the highest factor. All we need to do is return HCF now. All right. So with the function defined, we can say a new variable is equal to HCF of, and take any two numbers, 30 and uh, 84. Six happens to be the highest common factor, six times five is 30, six times 14 is 84. You can take a look at another example, 120. And you have 24 in this case, 24 times three, 72, 24 times five is 120. So this can be assigned to any variable since we provided the return function. Just to be clear, if we have this first range referring to the maximum of these two numbers and the second range going to the minimum. All right, we're talking about the minimum number over here, which is now going to check through the factor list of the first number. It will work just as fine. Okay, you, you don't need to define min number and max number. You could say simply say the first number over here and the second number over here. It would work. Only we are trying to 
create a smaller factor list by looking at the minimum number first.